desain interior tentunya berpengaruh pada ambient suatu hunian. Mulai dari layout, pemilihan warna cat, hingga pengaplikasian furniture serta aksesoris. Merupakan unsur penting yang mempengaruhi atmosfer pada ruangan. Seperti yang terjadi pada hunian berikut. Well, actually, uh, it's a <coughs> very eclectic mix of things. Um, I lived in so many parts of the world, like in Europe and then in the United States and in Africa and in yeah, Asia already for six years. So I, I like to mix styles. Uh, so you can see there's art from China and from Vietnam and actually from Holland and from everywhere in the world. So I, I like to mix styles, but I keep the basis very simple. I was born to rage. Pemilik rumah yang juga stylist dekor sengaja mendekor sendiri bagian-bagian ruangan dengan mengaplikasikan warna dominan putih pada furniture. I like to keep the basis simple, so I always advise clients as well, because the big pieces are the expensive pieces, and uh, it's better to play around with the accessories. So I usually have white or gray sofas, and then I put colored uh, cushions and candles, and you can always change those. Terlihat eye catching keberadaan kabinet dan lukisan benderang bernuansa Chinese yang memberi kesan tersendiri pada living room. I said I'm a little bit obsessed by everything uh, Chinese and uh, these are uh, from China uh, imported and I think it's because of China is a little bit mysterious country. It has very beautiful art. Uh, as you can see, the, the painter is Indonesian, but with a Chinese background. And I just love the bright color red, uh, so that's why I got it, yeah. Beralih ke dining area. Tetap dalam konsistensi, pemilik rumah menggunakan warna putih sebagai warna dasar yang dominan pada area makan. Terlihat menarik sebuah meja konsol di samping dining area yang merupakan hasil karya sang pemilik. Um, yeah, it's made from branches and it's very Indonesian. I actually found this uh, in Indonesia and um, I love it. It gives, it's a little bit rustic, but also you see the white again and um, yeah, rustic, but also modern. I quite like the, the atmosphere it gives. That heart is so cold all over my Selain konsol table, pemilik juga membuat sendiri lampu-lampu yang banyak diaplikasikan di berbagai area. Some style to the room, um, but especially the, the, the warmth you get because of the light, it's very important. I think this is one of the basic uh, mistakes people make when sometimes when they decorate a home, they put furniture. They forget the lamp, so it's very important for the atmosphere. Tak terlewatkan, pemilik juga membuat dan mendesain lampu untuk kamar kedua anaknya. Yeah, the kids' bedroom, I also always use one or two colors that they like, so I ask them. Sometimes I have to change it from pink to purple, uh, but um, yeah, I, I like to use bright colors for kids' rooms. And actually, I use uh, uh, fabrics from the same brand that I use for adults, but then um, a little bit more the, the child version. But just use high-quality materials for kids' rooms as well, so no plastic and, you know, just the same wooden lamps and just use a little bit more fun fabrics uh, and bright colors.
menarik sekali kamar anak dengan desain modern. Sementara pada outdoor area, terdapat dua spot yaitu vintage dan modern. Pada area vintage, terdapat kursi-kursi tua bergaya Eropa dan diberikan sedikit sentuhan batik Indonesia pada cushion. Aksesoris berupa bentuk naga dari Cina dan lilin merah dari kota tua Jakarta pun menghiasi meja. Sementara pada satu spot lainnya, mengaplikasikan sofa bergaya modern yang simple, namun tetap nyaman digunakan bersantai menikmati suasana outdoor. Perpaduan furniture dan aksesoris yang tepat, dapat menghadirkan ambience ruangan yang menarik, meskipun dalam beragam gaya desain. Akan hadir informasi menarik lainnya, stay tuned on design. Will your sister